all, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another GTA Online Heist video. So far today I've shown you all the new outfits that are new to GTA Online thanks to the Heist update and also all the new vehicles plus some more familiar ones that also got an update. But in this video I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of the first heist, the Fleecer job. Most heists in GTA Online will be 4 player, but this first one is only 2. You can see this as your heist training mission if you will. So first up, if you've just loaded up GTA Online after the update, you'll receive a call from Lester. Or, if like me, you kept ignoring it because you were busy, then you simply need to head over to where the L icon is on the map. You should remember the location from the GTA 5 campaign, this is where you'll find Lester. Once you arrive, head on in to initiate a cutscene. Ah uh, yes, come in, come in. He'll talk you through the jobs he has lined up, and then you'll be on your way. At this point, you then need to head over to your apartment. Now the location for this will obviously vary depending on where you live, but either way, return to your apartment icon on your map, and upon entering, you'll notice that one of your rooms has been ever so conveniently renovated. This is now your heist stage queue. From here, you can then opt to begin your first heist, the Fleecer job. At this point, if you're hosting, then you can invite your friend, get set up, buy any ammo you need, and once you're happy, hit play. The first task is to go and scope out the bank, but before you hop in the car, note that depending on what you do will influence whether or not you want to drive. See, whoever is in the passenger seat will receive hacking training shortly after. So if you want to learn how to hack the system for the mission later on, opt to sit in the passenger seat. If you're the getaway driver, then obviously get in the front. Either way, be it you or your teammate, drive to the bank, scope it out, you'll see the view from the cameras and then you'll be on your way. On the way back, if you're in the passenger seat, you'll begin your hacking training. It's super simple, effectively you have to navigate the snake-like signal through the maze without hitting the walls and get it to the other side. You can use your analog stick or you can use the d-pad, personally I prefer the d-pad, felt a little bit more precise but either way it's down to you. Do this three times, each time it's marginally more difficult and once you're done you're then finished with your training. You then return to Lester's warehouse, switch vehicles and hop into the Granger. You then simply need to follow the waypoint on screen to drop this off at your garage. And once you've done that, that is stage one complete. Now most heists will have three to five parts that need to be completed before you can actually perform the heist itself. But this one, this is training so it's pretty short. After this there's a cutscene where some more stuff is set up in your heist HQ or bat cave, whatever you want to call it, but once the cutscene is done and your on screen tutorial finishes you can select the next part of the job. At this point you can pick your outfits, I opted to be a paper bag bandit, then once you're happy you can begin phase 2. Now you need to steal an armoured car from some mobsters, so head over to the parking lot, drive to the top and I'd recommend parking at the back so you aren't caught in the middle of the gang. They do hit hard and if you just jump out your car in the middle of the car park, chances are you'll go down and if anyone on your team dies you need to restart. So drive to the back, jump out, cover behind your car and take them all out. Once you're done, hop in the armoured car and drive it to Leicester's warehouse. At this point, once you're done, it actually disbands your party, so simply return to your apartment, go into your back cave, and select to begin the heist finale. Reinvite your friend and you'll then get another cutscene. Once that's all done, you have the option to decide how to split the profit at the end, you can change the roles for the heist, but if you did the hacking training earlier, then it's best you opt to go as the driller, as you'll need to hack along the way. Also do note, in the next heist, when there are 4 people, there's an achievement for splitting the rewards evenly, so 25% for each person, which means you don't want to be greedy. Once you're happy, hit continue and let the finale begin. You'll then need to drive from your apartment to Lester's warehouse, pick up the armoured car and begin working your way to the bank you scoped out earlier. On the way there, the hacker will need to hack the bank system and it is a little more complicated this time. The principle is still the same, it's just the route that's a tad tricky. But if you used to play Snake when you had the old Nokia 3310, then you'll have no problem. Either way, complete that, pull up outside the bank, then activate the hack from your phone, it'll open the bank door and you can now begin. Now it does recommend that you take care of the cameras when you go in before you begin drilling, but in this case I simply ran in and went into the vault at the back while my friend Archangel Sean took care of the cameras and made sure the civilians didn't try anything stupid. When you're in the vault, there's another minigame of sorts, you now have to drill the locks on the safety deposit box. So the way this works is that you hold down RT to power the drill and you push forward on the left stick to move the drill in. If you push too hard it'll overheat, so the trick is here to push the left stick gradually and if you see the drill going red, ease off. But once it's done, you break through all four locks, grab the box and return to the getaway car. Your driver then simply needs to get to the bridge, line up with the cargo bob that has a magnet on it and you get carried away to mission completion. And that, my friends, is how you complete the Fleecer job, your very first heist. Hopefully you found this helpful, hopefully you enjoyed the video and if you did, don't forget to leave a like and hit that thumbs up button down below and if you're not already subscribed and not already part of the Arax Gaming Nation then hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. Let me know in the comments down below if you've already completed this job, and if so, which role did you take? And once again, thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.